Welcome to Thailand Large and you're here with me, Abel Wanamagog. In this travel program, we're going to teach you the history, culture, lifestyles and the many fun and amazing activities that you can do around Thailand. And today, I'm here at the Prince of Songkhla University's brand new terminal. Now, many of you might not know this, but Phuket is a very, very popular place in Asia to travel to. This place has more and more people coming every year, and now we're reaching almost 7 million passengers coming to Phuket a year, just to Phuket. And the Prince of Songkhala University have just recently opened their own terminal, which is a cabin flight simulator that teaches their students how to become better ground staff and how to be flight attendants, shall they wish to continue on into that profession. And uh, I'm very excited to see this because I never thought that I can have a chance to fly on the ground. And it uh, seems like we're going to be going to Bangkok today in the uh, PSU airline with the PSU terminal, which just recently opened. So let's go check out what they have and uh, maybe your students and your kids who want to study here and learn about tourism and hospitality later on. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Very nice to meet you, Colin. Thank you so much for welcoming me here today. And uh, I know you have a very long title, so I'll let you introduce yourself to all the viewers. Okay, I'm the chairman for the tourism management program for the Faculty of Hospitality and Tourism in Prince of Songkhla University. Excellent. I know this is a very, very new terminal. Yep. Um, and you call this the PSU terminal? That's right. And you have your own airline? As well as our own airport. Wow, wow, and this is brand new, isn't it? Yeah, uh, we got this completed uh, at around April this year. In April this In year? April this year. Wow, well, I think our viewers and all the people that are traveling here to Thailand love brand new things, yeah. especially myself, and I feel very privileged to be able to come here because uh, this is normally not open to the public, is that correct? Um, not yet. We, uh, we will start um, classes for the coming term, which is this August, so we just started class this term, um, which is several days ago. And the first in flight service class will start pretty soon, which, which will be the end of this week. Wow, and the reason I'm sure that you built this is because it's very, very popular amongst your students, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, um, as what we can see, a majority of Thai students wants to be flight attendants. They want to work for airlines, work, mm -hmm. work for different positions within the airline industry. That's why we built this facility so that we can get them equipped, get them ready for the um, future career. Let's stop talking um, yep. and um, please show me around. So sure. am I going to be on your plane today? Yes, you will be. Where uh, am I flying to? Uh, I will be flying to Bangkok. Okay. Back to Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, so um, this is our check-in counter. Business class. We do have um, two different class, business class and premium pro. So um, the check-in counters allow the student to get prepared um, to be ground service agent for an, um, at, at an airport for airlines. So they will know how to check in, how to provide customer service. And most importantly, it's about how to interact, how mm. to um, resolve problem that the customer has. Should I give your students some problems right now? Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> well, hi. What's going on? I'm just joking. <laughs> so, Adika, I'm going to Bangkok today. I did not buy a ticket yet. Can you prepare a ticket for me? Yes, ma'am.
Okay. All right, Colin. So what is next? Next, we will go to the boarding gate. Excellent. Please, this way, please. Thank you. May I have attention, please? Attention. Waiting for Mr. Colin. I know this ever. For PSU Airline flight PS123. Forget to Bangkok. Please identify yourself to get number 43. Get number 43 immediately. Thank you. Alright, so this way, please. Thank you. Now, we are our. This is so real. Oh, hello. So, uh, Adika. Nice to meet you. Nice Working hard today? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so all these extras are your students, right? Yes, those okay. are all the students. Excellent. This is the fourth, fourth year student. This is really real. Yeah. Wow. So everything, okay, so everything can be used. Everything is used. Actually, um, a lot of those equipment are, 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 are real aircraft equipment. We just got this from um, Thai, actually it's from Thai Airways. Um, this. This uh, facility is certified by Thai Flight Training Association uh, Academy, Flights, uh, Thai Flight Training Academy, which we can do actual uh, proper in-flight service training wow. for Thai Airways as well. So you have like a food cart and then you have beverage carts. That's right. And you have a trash can. And trash can. We do have coffee maker. Um, I guess every time when you take a flight, you will always see something like this. This is the real container for food items. And this Why is, do you get all these things? This oh, is the setup from <gasps> Thai Airways. Oh, this is really, yeah. really interesting. So you always see flight attendants closing the containers, and that's the sound. Hey, that's our wow. captain. Uh, wow. The captain. The captain. <laughs> wow, my uh, honor uh, to meet uh, you. <laughs> this is our cabin, um, the main cabin uh, of this aircraft. We do have four business class seats and 36 economic class seats. Basically, that will be the size of our class. Normally, a normal size of our class is around 40 students. What aircraft is this modeled for? This is a 737-800 aircraft uh, model. We try to make it as real as possible, so all the measurements are in real, yes, um, it's in real ratio, one-to-one -one ratio. Wow. So this is one of those rare moments where I get to sit in business class, which I don't get to do very often. And thanks to Colin today. Oh, you're welcome. I know I'm going to get excellent service on your uh, PSU uh, airline. Yep. Now, just tell me a little bit because I want to see the actions and things like that. I mean, this must be one of the most popular classes that you have. Yes. Uh, basically, as I told you before, a lot of. Thai students, especially, as even though we are an um, international program, but a majority of our students are Thai and mm. they love to study something related. Oh, firstly, they love to study something really practical right. so that they can really use them mm. um, in the future. And secondly, a lot of them want to work for airlines in the future. That's mm -hmm. why um, a lot of them choose this class. So as you can see, this is a real, a real meal. That's right. Can I open this? Yes, yes, yes. I can open this. open this. Wow. So you actually prepare all the food by yourself? We, uh, we do have a restaurant here. Wow. So we will have, we, as I have told you, we try to do everything as real as possible. So the meal will be real <laughs> as well. We are in cooperation with uh, TFTA, Thai Flight Training Academy. So um, 
after the students study the uh, some courses here, the customer service course, the in-flight service management course, they can proceed to uh, Thai Airways and then complete their full course and then get the cabin crew license as well. Wow, so it seems like your students like already have a career. If they take this course and they, they follow through and they do what they're supposed to do, then, then they, they, can, they have a job. And they get um, ahead of uh, uh, a lot of other students in Thailand, ahead of uh, other people. Well, I'm full now. So, I think we have arrived Bangkok. Okay. So, let's get out. <laughs> <laughs> It was a quick flight. That's right. Okay. Thank you. So, let's go out through the back door. I would like to show you something very interesting. Excellent. Wow, so, actually, class. we do. Oh, uh, yeah. This, we do have an emergency exit door here, which we can open. Mm. This oh. is a part of training as well to let the student know how aircraft doors are operated. How, right. But um, the mechanism is not real, however, um, we try to make it as well as possible. So on an actual aircraft, the door is actually moving outward like this. Oh. So just push and then the door will go that way. Very nice. Very so nice. This. Thank you. You're welcome. Kobun ka. So we're back to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a great flight. I mean, I um, I really felt like I was on an airplane. Thank you. And yes. Wow. I mean, this is wonderful. Um, I love the experiences that we're having here. I I really wish all your students um, good luck with their training, Thank which you. is starting in next month. Um, no, the end of this week. End of this week. Yeah, the end of this week. Okay. Actually. Um, yeah, they will. Um, I'm looking. I think they look forward for this course as well. This is the very first time that we do uh, do it here. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you so much, Colin. Thank you for your time today and for showing me your uh, PSU terminal. And for our viewers out there, I just want to let you know that this is only a simulator. And uh, obviously, there are a lot of real activities that are happening around Phuket and around Thailand. And uh, the next time that we're going to go uh, show you, we're going to show you a real airport. So stay tuned. How do you do? I'm good. Hello. Welcome. I'm Abel. Yeah. Welcome, Kun Abel, so to the Phuket Air Park. Nice uh, to meet you. Uh, what is your name, sir? Suchat Raksangop Kap. Sawadika, Kun Suchat. Sawadika, welcome to the welcome. Air Park. Welcome. I'd like to introduce you to my assistant, Kun M. Hello. Sawadika. Kun Abel. Kun M, nice to meet you. Nice and meet this, you. this is uh, Kun Pat James from Kun Texas. Texas. Very nice Hello. to meet you. Thank you very much. To be here. Thank you. Pat Welcome. is our uh, the safety and operation manager at this place. Okay, excellent, excellent. You're also the pilot, I heard. That's correct, and we're here to make sure you have a nice, safe, fun day. Excellent. I'm um, I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I'm looking to learn a lot about the Phuket Air Park and uh, mm -hmm. what you guys do here. And um, please tell me, uh, what are we going to do today, Mr. Uh, I will, I will walk you to the planes, okay. introduce you, show you what we have, excellent. and then later you will be flying. Okay, excellent. Sounds great, sounds great. So I follow you. Okay, let's go. And I understand you are the owner of the airport, is that correct? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you have a lot of different types of aircrafts here. Uh, yes, we have a uh, fixed wing, uh, two seats, Four seats and six seats airplane, and also the latest edition is now a gyroplane. Oh wow! We, really? We call it with love the little bumblebee. <laughs> oh, I look forward to seeing it. And um, I just want to ask: I mean, can everybody come here? Of course, yes. They can. We welcome, yes. Um, just a quick question: besides the airplanes, you do have uh, some other activity as well. Is that correct? Oh, airplane is our activity. Airplane is your activity. Yes, and it is uh, it is for us the adventure. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Thailand, you can own your own airplane. You can go to uh, learn to fly. Yes. Uh, you can also uh, skydiving. Wow. And you also can own a private airport. 
Really? So, all, everything is legal and uh, everything is possible in Thailand. Wow. The sky is all... The there. sky is not the limit. It, that's is that right. correct? That's correct, yes. <laughs> Excellent. And then there's another, that is a stole, we call it the sky jeep. Stole sky jeep? Yes, yeah, stole is a short takeoff, short landing airplane. And there are two of them in white and in red. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and yeah, I see now. Look, to your right will be here. It's a six-seater uh, Piper Cherokee. Robert, please tell me. I, I heard that you have a, a new aircraft. That's right. So can you show me that? Yes, yes. I'm very uh, excited. If you would turn around, this is uh, the yellow bumblebee. It's a uh, very nice, cute. It's the latest edition we wow, have. Look at this thing. It's a gyro crop duck. The specialist oh, is here, the Kun sun. Best. Oh, thank you. And uh, <laughs> I'd like to introduce you, Kun okay. Best. Thank you very much. Abel. Sadiqa Kun Best. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for your time and for yeah. showing me your aircraft today. And um, I just want to say thank you so much to uh, Kun Sutad. Swadika. And for have your a nice day. Time. And also nice flying. Um, I see that uh, you have a really, really nice looking aircraft. Um, it looks very different from the other ones. And uh, Kun Sucha told me that this is a gyrocopter. Sure, sure. Um, gyrocopter. Please tell me a little bit because I, I really have no idea what is a gyrocopter. Sure. Um, gyrocopter is a um, hybrid between a fixed-wing aircraft and a helicopter aircraft. Okay. The main difference is the rotor that you see here is not powered by engine like in helicopter, but it actually rotates by itself in auto-rotation mode when the wind hits it from below. So it's like you have a leaf coming down from the tree. So it's unpowered rotor. But it still, have the, still has the um, prop on the back as a pusher type to push the plane forward. So this is the power and this is the lift. So now I'm going to take your, uh, your suggestion and, and look inside. Shall we take a look inside? Sure, sure. Uh, have a seat, sit? Have a sit, seat here? right here. Okay. Yes. Watch your feet. Thank Let's you. Go around it. The seat's very comfortable. Um, I mean, this is a private aircraft, obviously. Uh, I have been on fixed wings before, I have been on a helicopter before, but I've never been on a gyrocopter before. Yeah, okay. You got a stick, we got a cyclic control. All right. And simple, simply put, faster, slower, left and right. Okay, well, you make it sound very easy. Yeah, Fall, forward is make it faster, mm -hmm. slower, pull it back toward you, left and right. This is a throttle. This is just like a boat. This is uh, more gas, less gas. This is a brake. You do the brake on the wheels, uh, for the wheels on, on the ground. It's only throttle, control sticks, and all this instrument, let me run it by you a little bit. This is just an uh, engine instrument. You have like the temperature, the uh, fuel gauge, how, how, how hot is the oil. Is everything in a green arc, then you're okay. Here is an engine RPM, just like in a car. Oil temperature. This is a rotor RPM, so this is just kind of warning. If you see it's in green, it's fine. Okay. GPS, and here you come to the flight instrument, which is three things, very simple. Airspeed indicator, how fast it's going, just like in a car. Altimeter, how high you're going above ground. Okay. This is like a clock, you know, long arms, short arms, 100 feet, 200 feet, 300 feet. When you go one round, then the short arms, uh, go after one, so it's 1,000 feet. Okay. And then this is the uh, vertical speed. See how fast you climb and how, fa uh, now and how, how fast you descend. So if it stays at zero, it means you're in level flight. The equipment and the plane and things like that. And now I can't wait to actually go and fly. And I heard that you have um, your pilots ready for me so I can have a ride. Sure. Is that correct? Correct. correct. Okay, okay. So um, thank you so much, Kun Bez. Well, I'm here with Pat.
at the pilot of the gyrocopter today, and I'm very excited because I've never flown on this before. And uh, I'm going to let him do most of the talking and tell me what I need to do before I go up on the plane. So, Pat? Well, one of the very first things we want to do is just make sure your life vest is secured. We look generally at the aircraft and, and give you a little safety briefing. Our seats inside the aircraft are extremely comfortable. They contour to you. We have the doors open so you can actually enjoy the flying. Also, oh, this usually has a door. Usually we can have a door on there, but in the tropics and flying uh, for photographics and for enjoyment, it is by far this is the only way to travel. <laughs> I, it's like, a, what do you call it, a convertible it, it, for a plane. It is a convertible, and we're in the tropics, so we should have a convertible at all times. So it sounds good. Let's get this going right now. And uh, while the Sunday is, uh, sun is still out, let's go. Thank you very much, Pat. Look forward to it. All right. I think this is great for people who uh, love adventures and uh, people who love to do uh, just uh, very different things, don't you think? This is uh, not only just adventures, it's just seeing something new, opening new doors that people have never had an opportunity to see before. I'm sure that, uh, I mean, I don't have a lot of opportunity to see Phuket from the skies, but uh, this is a great opportunity and I'm sure it's going to look really amazing from up there. The, the view from up, up high. Uh, even from 500 feet or 1,000 feet is spectacular. Parts of uh, Phuket Island you've never seen before from the road make it ideal. Wow. Okay, well, I'm not going to distract you anymore. I'm going to let you uh, do your flying. And uh, anytime you want to say anything to me, just uh, let me know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy the ride. Please do. Sit back and enjoy yourself. Thank you. We're going to go down and take off on the 1 3 runway, head towards the ocean. Excellent, excellent. I mean, this is something that you have to do when you come to Phuket. Um, it's not very expensive, it's very affordable. You want to do something different, you want to do something that is just way out there, and you want to see Phuket in a totally different way, this is the way to do it. And uh, I would choose this over just flying a, a normal airplane, but it's because I've flown on a normal airplane before. It's just so different. And I have to say thank you so much to our pilot, Pat, for such an amazing, amazing ride. Thank you. You're very welcome. And please hurry back. We, we're having too much fun out here. <laughs> Just great. I mean, I cannot say anything more. Awesome, great. The experience is awesome. And um, now it's your turn to come and fly with us next time. So uh, please come again and uh, take a look at what Phuket and uh, the Phuket Air Park has to offer. So I want to tell the viewers out there who are foreigners or Thais, Coming in here to Thailand, most of the time we don't think about uh, doing things like flying. But um, before I came here, I've never, I never even thought about flying and I never even thought that I can afford to fly. But um, after meeting Sutat and Pat and Kun Bes and uh, understanding more that it is affordable to do this, to learn to fly, um, it makes me feel more comfortable. And after the ride with Pat earlier, I mean, I just feel amazing. I feel exhilarated. And uh, I hope that uh, all the people who are coming here to Thailand or who are people who are living here in Thailand come to see the Phuket Air Park. And for those who want to learn to fly, of course you can fly at the uh, simulator at the Phuket Songkhla University. 
Or why not come to Phuket Air Park and learn to fly in a real airplane such as one of these or fly one of these here and uh, see for yourself. And uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's show, Thailand Large. My name is Ava Wanamakok. I really hope you enjoyed today and hope to see you soon. Sawadee Haa.